Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Darkest Dungeon. Feeling a bit better today, been busy with work unfortunately, but uh, yeah, gotta record more of these for the week, so. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be probably the start of the new month, so hopefully you had a great ha Halloween and all that nonsense. Uh, so yeah, we need, to do, we need to finish exploring the cove, we do need to eventually do the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now though. Um, I kind of want to actually get that Ancestress Handkerchief just for the bleed resistance, but at this point, I think I just want to take it easy and do a, a medium map and hope for the best. We're going to be taking our uh, Hibame, Kuradane, Luna Child, Parsi, Mizu Mizuhashi, and of course Mistia Lorelei. Uh, Mistia actually has Cove Explorer, which is part of the reason why I brought her, and um, Parsi has the scouting item, so I'm hoping that will make my life a little bit easier. And people are knocking on my door, even though I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put a note out saying that you are accepting trick-or-treaters. Which, of course, I didn't. Whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and do, uh, provisions. And let's see. Something tells me tonight's going to be very annoying. Because everyone's going to knock at my door. <laughs> Even though they're not supposed to. I'm in an apartment complex and they're supposed to have rules for, for that junk. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of everything. Now that we have that thing that keeps track of your curry, uh, curios and stuff like that. It might actually be useful to do something like this. Alright, let's go ahead and embark. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. So unfortunately I got no scouting data, despite the fact I have bonuses to scouting. But we do have access to this fish carcass, which I do know that herbs work with. A fortune, waiting to be spent. Whew, that's a messy looking fight. Alright. Devastating blow. Do what we can with that. Um, you started. Okay, this is bad because. Okay, it's, you resisted. Come on. Okay, that's something I can work with. Oh, and Luna Child is actually super stressed. I forgot to actually put her in a um, station for that. And, alright, that's going to be annoying. Okay for dodge. Annoying uncertainty. The birthplace Thankfully, of horror went on only that target. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and work on taking out that guy with Parsi, and then just try to shift G forward. and stuff going. Nice crit. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Alright, my chance of stun is not particularly high. But I will give it a shot. Got it. Okay. We are good to go. Yeah, with 20 health left, we got control of the fight now. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Alright. We actually have some spare food, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Every little bit helps. I 
Okay. Uh, Alright, Tidemasters have stealth. Good to know. That's gonna hurt. 19 damage. That was not even a crit. That was just raw 19 damage. That is ridiculous. And now you're stunned. Jeez. Mystia is not gonna be in very good shape. Alright, um, you're fine. So we're just gonna kill you real quick. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Stress, good times. I'll just deal with you real quick. I can't stun the front row, unfortunately. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. That's gonna hurt. Seventeen damage. Hello, Death Store. It's good to see you. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. The slow death, unforeseen. Well, at least we got the Ancestor's Lantern out of that, so I can't. I mean, the fact we got an Ancestor item out of that ridiculously painful fight was nice, I guess. Get you a little bit of health back. I mean, to be honest, I'm not too worried, um, simply because we're almost to the point where antiquarians, their usefulness will be pretty much just reduced to literally just buffing, which I'm probably not going to take to many fights. Oh. Well, now I know that works. I could never remember some of these statues, so that removed the witness quirk which is not a big deal. I generally avoid taking people that have problematic uh, status effects. No scouting info. So I'm expecting things to get far worse. Or... So yeah, it actually shows. Um, I'm not sure what the symbol means, though. Oh. You know, usually this thing gives food, and this is the one time it decided to not give me food. Um, that's not great. Alright. Got three rubies already. Let's drop the gold and grab the onyxes for now. Uh, the anti venoms we can probably eventually drop, but I'll hold on to them for now. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Indeed. Nice dodge. The light. Please give the me some scouting info. Safety. Or that. Okay. This savage guy, his bleed can do 12 a tick. Not even kidding. Dealt with. Slowly, 
gently. This is how a life is taken. I'm gonna take extra stress, that's fine. A decisive pummeling. Oh, here it is. Three damage. Ten damage bleed. Oh, I can't use flash of daggers. That's super annoying. Well, I'll to rely on that then. Going. With 135, yeah, I would have a 5% chance to stun, so we'll just stick with what we got. Should be dead. He is. I'm gonna go ahead and stun just to pass the turn. Then remove it. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. All right. Remove the permanent debuff. And we'll just eat some of those, and that should be good. Go ahead and pop the key. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop the anti-venom and take the med med medical herbs just in case. Part of me wants to just drop the freaking key. But it looks like we got a treasure box up ahead. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'll drop the onyxes for now. We can live without it. Uh, so we need to do 100% room battles, which I guess conveniently, so far every room we've done is a room battle. Right. Another round of this nonsense. Impressive. I'll be impressed if we can get the kill in in time. You're about to go nuts. Good times. I'm gonna go ahead and stun first. Just in case. Oh great gonna stun me and... yep. Great. Alright, then you will have to handle it. There we go, problem solved. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive.
Aww. The death by inches. Alright, you're dead next round. Let's get a little bit of healing done. <laughs> Fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. As victories mount, so too will resistance. and baubles paid for in blood all right do not like this setup at all all right I like the setup slightly more now Give them no quarter. It's done. Nope. Lead. Nope, I'm doing good. Doing bad. Okay, that takes care of the champion. Passing this turn just simply because that guard is gonna be scurvy. Scurvy minus 40% bleed resistance and minus 40% move. That's gonna be fun. I should be able to remove it when I camp. But you have to camp first. And I might have to camp pretty soon, actually. Good heal. Bad bleed. I have to kill it this round to avoid the bleed damage. horrors brought low and driven into the mud all right thank you for the additional scouting info use this I believe this will hold it open wealth beyond stuff measure. I don't need awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike I'll pop the bandage I could have taken the money at that point but it's gonna get filled with other junk anyway Uh, I'm actually just going to walk backwards. It's actually s probably safer to do it that way. But yeah, we got two combats along the way, and assuming that's not the last room, we're going to be in more trouble in a second. 
So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and pop the camp. Uh, we, we might get ambushed, which might make our lives a living hell, but it's also the amount of food we're gonna be eating is gonna take a good chunk out of it, because Parsi actually eats more. Huddled together. But I can lower the stress a little bit and hopefully uh, work from there. It's in a maze. Self only remove its Oh, you can do it yourself. Congratulations. Alright, I'm just seeing what my options are. Some fancy buffs. Okay. Let's uh, pop some Gallows Humor and hope it works out for us. Alright, it brought up... Uh, brought up Luna's stress, but it lowered uh, Kamame's, so that's alright. Alright, let's go ahead and... I'm just seeing what options I have. Okay, go ahead and remove that disease. Well, wow. it's very cured. Okay, we got six left. I would like the health buff on uh, somebody at least. So yeah, I'm thinking... Experimental Vapors. I'm just seeing if there's any other heals I have. Not really. Alright. So what I can do with you... Is... So you're down 9, you're down about 8. Alright, we will... It'll last for 4 battles. Okay, I will go ahead and... Buff your health. Then I will use you to heal her. Give you a little bit of a uh, little bit extra there. Yep, Secrets called it. And wonders can be found in the most uh, could be worse. I say as I get screwed over. You're gonna buff. Hope you're gonna heal. That's fine. Well, uh, technically I can heal back here, for what it's worth. Let me guess. Okay, you can use that in the front row, so you know what? You go ahead and shift back. Thought we got that going. We'll deal with you. Masterfully executed. Of course, I put it on the target. I didn't really want to get stressed. That's fine. Okay, that one is now dead. You're now bleeding. Bleeding like champions. I don't have any way of removing it either. I can just mitigate the damage at this point. The ground quakes. Like I said, the shuffle was about the worst it could possibly be. So what I can do here is do that, and then heal. Not cure both of them. And I can shift you forward too. Shift you back one. And uh, someone in a situation where I can fight again. Alright, well, while I still can, let's, uh, 
Get a little bit more healing done. Precision and power. All right. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Bad news is um, we got ambushed. Good news is it was mostly all the damage was mainly on our back row. So we'll put your mommy in the far back now, and uh, hopefully she'll do okay. All right, let's get get moving. Another mariner, another misfortune. Spiffy gassed. Uh, we need to deal with the thrall first. Good dodge. Stupid piranha here. Off kilter jig. Oh yeah, that's right, you do horror. A lot of horror, in fact. Oh gosh, that's gonna wreck me. Alright, you're dead next round. That's the least I can do. 29 damage, that's good. Good thing I have that heal buff thingy. Courageous. Thank. Yeah, that's good. Definitely really, really good. Alright. Oh, you bastard. Alright, we need to deal with that. Yeah, thanks for the stress reduction. not going to be able to do enough. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do enough. Unless I do three damage right now. Four damage. Okay, now you're dead. Okay, that's one problem down. Okay, that just did stress. That's fine. get to deal with this bastard. While that's going on, I'll heal. Sedated. Alright, well at least you're doing stress reduction. This expedition at least promises success. Alright. There we go, taking advantage of that bonus healing, and uh, hopefully we can live long enough. What do you got for me? Oh, you only telling me about the hallways. Well, we've done four com- this will be our fourth combat room, so have fun with In that. Radiance, may we find victory. I'm gonna have her pop holy water. Piranhas are going to be a pain. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. 
you're about to be going about to go bonkers. Sixty damage, that's such such bullshit. This is why I hate the cove. It's so ridiculous how much damage they do. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. It's not gonna matter, so I might as well just attack the front row. Oh, I keep forgetting about that stupid heal. Well, now it's a problem. But I can just do this. that there. Okay, so he'll die next round again. That or I'll get my time wasted with more heals. Uh, let's guard you. Thank you. Alright, now I can AoE and hit both of them. Or, you know, not. You know, that's fine too. Stress wave. Alright. Now you're gonna go bonkers. Careful. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Okay, that takes care of that. you're not cutting yourself, I, I'm not going to be too bothered by that. Let's, uh, let's actually heal you. There you go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. rid of the anti-venoms now. Also, we're not done yet. So, that's great. So that means we got another combat up. We have at least one com uh, two combats left. Probably more than that. Stupid thralls. I have to kill them first or else they blow up on me. Can you please not hit? Oh, you're shifting to the front. Well, ain't that special. Okay, I'll take care of you. Oh, you passed. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Hello, oh, horror. Alright. The horror. And now your death door. 
perched at the very precipice of oblivion. That was a really bad round. Go ahead, buff her. I need to get you off death's door. Alright. Oh good, get from buffs. You shifted back. Actually, that's completely fine. And deal with the stupid piranha before it hits me for another 40 damage. In fact, <laughs> Parsi, what is wrong with you? <laughs> You have one job. Just get the buffs up. I've given up actually being able to do damage this fight. Okay, you're gonna take 12 damage this round. Stress wave. You're about to take you're about to hit Death Sword just from freaking stress attacks alone. I, Parsi, hit something. Your accuracy is not that low. Great. Heal yourself, because I'd rather not hit Death's Door from a stress attack. Nice dodge. There you go, you finally hit. Alright. That one's dealt with. You're dead. Let's start with this nonsense. Do as much damage as we can. Yeah, yeah, we're failing quite a bit. <laughs> Three, four. The flesh is knit. This next attack's going to hurt a lot. Especially since I can't hit anything. Alright. There we go. So he is officially now dead. A powerful blow. Do what you can about the stress. There's not much we can do about it. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, this is bad. Oh good, no scouting info. Thanks, game. Thanks. I literally have scouting items and freaking quirks that are supposed to be designed around, you know, getting information, and I can't get any information. Alright, we got five food. If only treasure Not for one more hunger proc. Otherworldly corruption. Alright. Oh, thank you for surprising. Actually, that worked out great. Thank you for shuffling back to the original positions. Can you at least do 29 with your crit so I don't have to spin an action killing it? What are my chances? Of? It is... What is it? 180? So technically I could possibly do it. Alright, we're just going to get that damage going. There, like that. Yeah, do that. Shift it back. Okay, that's completely fine by me. Perfect, keep attacking her. 
Yeah, go ahead and buff that thing. I'm more concerned about the stupid ghast anyway. That and I can hit them both anyway. Here comes the off kilter jig. Thank you for dodging. Can you boost on him? Nope. I tried I tried to go for, I tried to go for gold and failed. And then I got stunned. And now I'm gonna get bleeded. Okay, he's dead. You do whatever you can for these. All right, Let's see if we can, uh, Take it as slow as possible just to get a little bit of extra healing in. It's really going to come down to how well Parsi can dodge at this point. Not very well, apparently. That pretty much undid the healing and then some. A momentary abatement. Momentary is the word. Ninety percent protection. Thank you. A singular strike. All right, a little bit of health back. Not much. Could have been better. this momentum push on to the task's end thank you all right we'll continue adventuring uh anyone got a negative quirk that's worth noting bad gambler whatever i don't care about bad gambler sure you can use it templar has been removed oh thank you for the scouting info Tell you what, I'm gonna look at this hallway, any traps, any encounters, I'll grab that last curio and then we'll head out. God, that was a unnecessarily stressful battle. Thankfully all the, I guess, I wasn't happy about the number of combat rooms there were, but at least they were all close together. Oh, this thing. Uh, I believe this thing can give you a positive quirk. Actually, I think it removes a negative. And I actually don't have any way of fixing it. Uh, you would, I believe you need medicinal herbs for this one. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to head out. The pungent odor abates. The All things right. are driven back. So we got some. Time. So we got some. Uh, we got an ancestor ar artifact at least, or uh, relic, or trinket. That's the word. We got an ancestor trinket, which is alright. It's not exactly anything useful for what we're going to be going up against in the future, but it it's something at least. Got a few crests, nothing too special. A lot of money. We should be able to at least upgrade the camp. Uh, doesn't matter. Those need to be dealt with. 
and all of them are very, very stressed. Behold, righteousness and zealotry, gleaming in the morning sun. Only two people showed up for the Call of Crusade. Alright, it appears that the abbot's earnest appeal has been answered, I'll bet, with mocking cruelty. We're not gonna deal with that. I believe there's some mods where you can actually get, like, female variants of some of these classes, uh, some of the male classes now. But I haven't really looked too far into it. Anyway. Alone in the woods or tunnels, survival is the same. Prepare, persist, and overcome. Alright, so we need 92 um, crest and we will be good to go. Which we almost have already. Okay, um, a lot of things we need to deal with. Let's go ahead and deal with... Um, The zoophobia first. Yeah, I haven't named these characters yet. I've been busy. Uh, Tuckered out. Who actually? Yeah, get rid of Tuckered out first. You get rid of anemic. Okay, I see. You, even though you're at like a hundred stress. You are not actually in any danger, so we'll go ahead and get you your zoophobia taken care of. And who else do we got on the on here? Tough, not really. On guard, no. Quick draw, ruins explorer, nope. Okay, no one of use. All right. Well, uh, what do you got limitations on? May not meditate, is not allowed to gamble. Alright, well. Go ahead and pray to a higher power then. Same for you. You're... You know what? All of you pray. Okay. Anything here of note? No. No. Not really. Okay. Once we max out the uh, survivalist, which hey, that's a pretty pretty fancy tent. Uh, once that's maxed out, I will actually start getting those camping skills up and running. Um, that'll make some of our um, visits a little bit better. I mean, to be honest, I could do it right now, just to ensure that every group has some sort of way of dealing with um, night nighttime ambushes, but. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, let's, uh, let's embark for right now and see what we got on the list. Alright, sure enough, we have the Beguiling Siren, uh, who has the Siren's Conch, which gives you debuff and reduces stress. Uh, another Martyr Seal, because, you know, we always want those. Not sure who I would take for that one. I would have to, I, I would have to go, go on the wiki and remember how siren act exactly works i know having a bunch of um i think it's debuff resistance uh helps deal with the charm effect i'm more concerned about the freaking ship crew which beat the crap out of me last time all right well uh we'll see about uh, sending a group for this let's see if we actually have a group to take sarah would be fine I would have no dots. That's the problem. I would have zero dots for that for that fight if I if I were to go now, because all my uh, plague doctors are indisposed at the moment. So I could just do a normal exploration and go from there. Alright, well, um, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this was Darkest Dungeon. See you guys later.